Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix Robovich video series. This is Tim and Tammy, and we are working through our pulse programming guide. We are all the way up to activity number 12. So what do we got going for 12? All right, so on this one, we're gonna use the line finder sensor again, and we're going to follow a line. So we're gonna kind of work based off of what we kind of worked on in 11. We're gonna continue that and actually do a line following behavior, right? Right, okay. right. So make sure you've got your Cody bot, your computer cord, and we've got our computer. Let's open up that example program. Awesome. Go to 12. And let me center this up so we can see. This is a little bit simpler program, it looks like, initially. Right. So we have two if loops on this one. So if the line finder sensor is um, sensing, depending on what it's sensing, one or zero, then it's going to have one motor go forward and the other one will be braking. So what's going to happen is it's going to follow a line, but it's not going to follow it smoothly. The robot is going to go to one side, break, back to the other side of the line, break. So it's going to kind of shake back and forth as it's series following of turns. that line. Right. Kind of yep, duck, duck of walk down. And we're actually following the edge of the line, right? We're not right. actually following because we're just bouncing back and forth yep. between light and dark. Yes, exactly. Awesome. So are we ready to download and try it? Yep. No worries. Okay, plugged in. Let me hit uh, download here and see what happens. We're launching the Arduino IDE. And we should be getting some data going across there. There's our lights. I got my message which says we're successful. Anything that we should know before we go try this? So when you go test it, we had just our little strip of black uh, tape here, mm -hmm. but what you want to do is you want to create a longer path for that robot to follow a line. So you can have a straight line, you can have a curved path, you can make different paths for the robot to follow. A good thing you can use is black electrical tape and just make sure you have it on a white or uh, We just light want a surface. really good contrast, don't we, Correct. between a, the, two sur the, the line and, and the background. Right. Awesome. And you may need to give it just a little nudge in the beginning to get that robot to sense the edge of the line once you get it started, and then you should see it do its little waddle dance along the line and follow it. Okay, let's go try it. Okay, we're back. Uh, did it do what we expected it to do? Yes, yeah. It was interesting seeing the robot do its little back and forth, sensing the edge of the lines as it followed that line. So what would the extension of this activity be? Where would we take this? So why don't you see if you can have the robot do different behaviors when it's following the line. You can create those different paths for the robot. Maybe it drives forward and goes backwards or follows that line backwards. So that's another way that you can change that. Okay. And then what would the real world connection for this be? So we were talking about following lines. So we talked about self-driving cars before. Well, what other things would follow a line? What about amusement park rides? So have you ever seen maybe a little train that follows a figure eight? Well, how do they keep that train following that line? Here's an example. They're following that line with a sensor. So having a little ride, maybe a bumper car ride, that the little ride that the kids go on follows a line and uses a sensor for that. Awesome. That makes cool sense. So that's number 12, and we're ready to uh, go ahead and come back and see us for number 13.